Hi there, just um, thought I'd share with you some very basic ramps for putting your car up on if you need to change the oil or add some tough oil to your gearbox or drain things or check your brakes or all the different things you need to do under a car without having a hoist and you're sick of winding up jacks and axle stands and things. I just had some old bits of I think there must be 8x2 timber lying around. These are treated, they don't need to be. And I basically just patched them together so you've got solid timber underneath your car wheel. And I've got to stop so you don't accidentally drive off the end when you're driving on. So all it is is, is some pieces of wood just patchwork together to give, give me room so the wheel, the wheel will sit about here so there's a good solid place for the wheel to sit with no taper and it's not too close to the end to overbalance the whole thing and it's nice and wide so it won't tip sideways it's about oh, it's about the size of my foot <coughs> if you want to know how big my foot is you'll have to ask me then I just straighten up the, first I straighten up the edges of the bits of, bits of wood Hope you had your earmuffs on then. Right here's the three inch super screws, square drive, you might have Phillips or Posi drive or if you're in Europe, Torx, something really nice like that but over here we just use square drive. And just use, I've got a little impact drive in DeWalt which is really cool. Buzz in the screws, one of those is quite handy for this sort of job but a battery driver will do. I've got a square drive. Now if you're on slippery grass or something, like I, I like working on, on the lawn, so I don't have to hurt my back on the gravel of driveway. I made some grooves with a skill saw 10 mils deep, or about roughly a um, quarter inch if you're American. Um, and um, just to give it a bit of traction. Okay, so I get my skill saw. I set my height adjustment inside of your skill saw. You've got a little height adjustment knob for raising and lowering this base plate. I set it for about 10 mils or quarter of an inch. Can you see that, Geordie? Looking down there, down low. So it doesn't go in too deep. It doesn't weaken the wood, but it just gives a little bit of attraction so it doesn't slide when the weight comes on. I'm just gonna. I'm watching out for the screws. There's screws under there and there coming through. So I've just got to avoid the ends of the screws. So the reason I do this is so there's a bit, of, a bit of traction. So if you're on the grass with my Mercedes van, the wet tyre comes up to it and it's pushing this way. And as the weight comes on, it's still pushing in the, sort of this direction and the whole thing slides on the lawn, which is a pain. I like to work on grass, as I said before. So what I did, I put these grooves in and it bites into the lawn and it stops pushing it forward and sort of as the weight has once the weight is on it it starts to hold it hold it down into the ground and my front wheel drive car isn't so much of a problem because the tires are pulling themselves up the slope and um, they're pulling sort of in a different this sort of direction and so I stop don't have to stop right on the end I like to stop somewhere in the middle here and this is a good solid ramp just put it up on a block the chainsaw out. Just ran the chainsaw down just like this. I, I got this kept deliberately kept the screws well back out of the way. Ran the chainsaw down just like that and just kept on doing it until I got a nice got those those shoulders off. This shoulder here is what your tire hits first and you don't want it to skid away from you. It's a bit of a pain when the when the ramp runs away from the tire especially if you've got a rear wheel drive like my Mercedes van. Front wheel drive is no problem, it pulls the ramp underneath itself, no problem, but it's good to have a bit of a taper there. Okay, so when you've got this piece, this overall protection, so you don't roll over the edge of your ramp, it's great, you can pick it up and walk, you can pick up two ramps like this, and follow me, Jordy. And walk up to your car or whatever, put them down in front of the wheels, drive on.
Okay, so park, park and handbrake on, and you may want to put a couple of trucks behind your back wheel so it doesn't roll back. You don't want your car rolling on you in any circumstances. Sometimes it's a good idea to take your keys out of the ignition so someone can't get in while you're under there. There's plenty of room to crawl under there. And have a look. And if you want to get under there and do something like um, get the oil out of your gearbox or your engine and um, you know, do whatever you need to do. You're nice and safe. The ramps can't, there's no way that, that that wood would compress or tip over unless you're on a very steep slope and getting a very strong earthquake. And um, yeah, so ramps are really handy.